Hi. Thing. Halt. I'm going to have to teach you about the technicalities of the setting. The time and the place, it's non-essential. But that's just how it is. The actor has to be prepared before he goes on stage. Or else he'll fall down the aisle or stumble upon the prompt box. That would look mighty silly, wouldn't you agree? Who are you? An actor in a tragic mime show. That's unimportant. Will you listen to me or not? I shall. Time flies by. It can't be stopped or turned back. Nights follow days, which are then followed by nights. Things happen without any regard for whether you're there to witness them. There's time in the game, okay. Most events can be missed. There are some important people, and then there are the common folk who I will not give a shit. As it always has been. Don't try to care too much for the life of these bound to stand out people. But don't be too dismissive of the silent crowd. So I have to be- I have to balance out the main NPCs and those who are not the main NPCs. Reputation is important. Don't kill people, don't lie, don't betray, basically don't be a bitch. Oh look, right there. Do not be an asshole. Do not get caught being an asshole. Okay. Hmm, I see. That's just like real life. <laughs> don't believe everyone. Oh, I'm, I'm kinda gullible though. Yet, he who trusts, no one is deluded. Okay, well, definitely. Hmm. I, I like... I like the idea of that you can't trust everyone, but you can't not trust people, if that makes sense. Okay, bye. Alright. Well, Simon is... Let's see. We just gotta keep going here to the river, he said, near three mansions. How do I fight, by the way? Because you can't fight in this game, at least according to what they said. Oh, a hospital? Perhaps? Can I run? No, I cannot. But that was that at the upper left corner. Oh, good! It's just right here at this like little cathedral. This is a shitty looking sky. Oh. Huh. Weird architecture. Um. Okay, we'll just- oh wait, we gotta go visit Georgie and his daughter first, that's right. Ahoy! Hello? The f- What the fuck is that? Hello? Hi! Georgie? Handsome man? It's like something is pulling my strings. The famous Dr. Dankovsky. Your arrival is a great honor for us. Victor Kane at your service. Daniel Dankovsky at yours. I foresee that the things that have become ordinary for us will probably make you feel uncomfortable and disturbed. I would like to compensate for that impression. You know, our small community has fallen out of the loop. Time leaves us behind. Oh, don't worry about it. Autumn is gloomy this year. Georgie is waiting- oh wait, you're- wait, you're Kane? I thought you were Georgie, whoops. He has news for you that you'll find disturbing. I only ask one thing. Don't be too quick to reject his request. Thank you, I'll decide then and there. Where the hell is he? I went to the wrong house, apparently. That's- no, that's not a house, that's like part of the house. Oh, I think I'm collecting money. I heard that you can find, like, money on the ground. Where the hell am I? Wrong house. Wait, was that actually a house right there? Is there a door here? But anyway, there's some money on the ground. And, uh, I can pick it up. And I'll just get, a, like, a little prompt for it. Is this the correct area? Where the hell is a door? <laughs> well, it should be with a path, so... Yeah, right here. Knock, knock! Hello? Can I steal that? Can I steal this? Come on, I gotta loot something like Skyrim. It's pretty fun, by the way. How do I know what I can steal? Ah! Oh! <laughs> hey, you're kind of um, pretty looking. It came from below the ground. For many years, we were burying the bones wrong. Okay! You resemble an adventurer rather than a doctor. I am an adventurer. 
I saw you in a dream. Don't flatter yourself. My desires have nothing to do with that. I simply saw you take us all by the throat. What else did you see in there? I'll tell you when I think I can trust you. I hope that happens soon. The caprice of our temper is even more whimsical than that of fortune. What? <laughs> I have a lot to tell you, Bachelor Rankovsky, but I dare not until you meet my uncle Georgie. Otherwise, he'll rip my tongue out for disclosing a secret. Hmm, some strict morals. They make much more sense than you may think. This is not a game, is it? For all that is holy, do speak to my uncle and then come back to me. Otherwise, the excruciating anticipation will tear my heart into pieces. Alright, where is your uncle? Close at hand, just next door. Go to the wing that's closer to the river. Its roof is shaped like a crown. Alright, I shall come back for you, hot stuff. This is- oh. That's nice. So far, it's like a lot of backtracking. But I guess it's to, um, get a layout of the land. So that makes sense. I can go this way, apparently. I think I want to save first. And we might as well check the time as well. 6.52, okay. Right here. I like them. The oh wait, that's not. Oh, got a fountain. Oh, get get off the freaking stairs. <laughs> I guess I gotta go to the back. Okay, here it is. Do I have a quest? Today's quest? No, it hasn't even said it yet. Where is Georgie? Are you Georgie? You're not George. G. Most venerable doctor, it is with great impatience that we have been expecting you. You need not delve into the minimina of your business with us since our family is well acquainted with your scholarly work. Okay, I'm famous. We're also aware of the difficulties you were experiencing and well prepared to do our utmost to support you. It hurts me all the more to be the one to inform you that, Simon, my consanguinamana brother, your creator, keeper, and embodiment of all that surrounds us, has been murdered. Damn it! Why did he have to die before I came? I can't believe it! It cannot be! He was murdered last night under the strangest of circumstances. But for all the mystery surrounding his death, I'd rather eschew the notion that his... Departure was connected with whoever had visited Simon that evening. The visitor is a man of laudable rectitude and an old friend of our family. There are witnesses to testify that he and Simon did nothing but converse. No, I don't think... Hmm... I don't think it was death. Who was the visitor? Someone you know quite well. Isidore Barak. Was he not the very person to advise you come here as well? Yes, I guess. Isidore has done more than he thinks. I have a lingering feeling that time itself is using uncontestable powers to further its own intentions. What do you think? Um, I, I don't know what the hell you're saying. It could be that my mind is clouded by sorrow, but I cannot escape the feeling that your arrival was no coincidence. Your choice was made for you, my dear doctor. Let us not blame fate for it. Isidore wrote to you without making us aware. He took a risk that could have displeased our family. Um, really? Really? Brother was looking forward to meeting me, really? That's good. So, Simon would have been on my side. Damn it. Well, I'm sorry he died before I got here. Do you want to help us, Doctor? Find a murderer for us. Her brother, Victor, who is in the wing next door, will share some stuff. Help us and the reward will not disappoint you. Oh well, I will help you in any way I can. This mission calls for someone smart and intelligent like me. And he, he doesn't blame me in that I am not... He, he believes I am not taking part in this. Well, how do you plan to look for the murderer? We will take our own measures. Do what you think is required. Whatever you find out. Everything has a clue to solving this puzzle. Everything that is happening here is happening on your own account. You have my sympathy. Alright, so... I gotta go back there. 
Jesus Christ, this is a lot of backtracking, man. Can I steal shit while I'm here? No? Okay. Hey! We got a girl and a guy. What's up? Your face is hideous. <laughs> Anything I can help you with? Oh no, apparently not. So she is unimportant because she doesn't have a face at the lower left. And you're unimportant. Good morals and luck are a great help in managing a small community without resorting to violence. Personal standing can work wonders. Um, what? I can't help feasting my eyes on your outfit. Wait, that sounds like, um, uh, an insult. What do you mean? I like our town. We're all one big family. But I get the feeling that we're all controlled and our actions are but fiction. You are lucky. Oh! Don't, don't come near me. What the hell? That sound when he was walking just creeped the crap out of me. Okay, Victor, I am here. You and your creepy ass whatever the fuck that is. Victor, darling. Yes? How can I help you? Georgie told me everything. And... You have something for me. Yes, I have. May I ask why? I want to solve a puzzle. And no, I don't like having little information. I want more information. Hmm. I think we share a tragedy. I'm prepared to answer any questions you may have. Where was Simon when he was still alive? He sent Isidore home. An hour later, he came to see you guys. He was going to withdraw to the focus and receive... So basically, he didn't want any visitors. He didn't want anyone approaching that area for a week too. And he didn't eat. And then he died. Mm, no, he could have been poisoned because he didn't want food. How was he found? Oh, they were looking for something. Everything valuable was broken. Oh, jeez. He was disfigured. His neck was twisted, his spine broken. No one touched the body. It's in the focus. What's this focus place? It's a study, if you will. A laboratory. Almost perfectly sealed off except a door that is visible at all times. What do you mean? An equation or a mirror puzzle. The murderer could not have been hiding there. Hmm. Did Simon exist? Um. Well, obviously he existed, I think. How can I help you? Take a look around the focus, look for the murderer, doctor. Keep looking until you're dead, okay? <laughs> Who among the townsfolk can help me? So Maria can help. Uh, she already knew about me. Okay, uh, let's see. Several bound people will play a special role in my fate. I should ask for other people. Uh, where's Isidore? Be careful, Simon's murderer, whoever they are, are not, they're not ordinary. Came in playing Pearson, if you're in the... I will be careful. So this is where Isidore may be, but I also gotta talk to Maria. Jesus Christ, there's so much backtracking. Thankfully, it has not been that long. It's only been like, maybe 15, 20 minutes in game. So time isn't exactly horribly fast although i am scared of um what may attack me all right maria i have come back for your nasty ass the sabarov's wait is over they've always wanted an heir okay anyway listen closely listen closely the time for collusion, secrets, and alliances has come. I'm going to ask you something. I'm not used to asking people. I'm used to holding the reins, but you are not harnessed. It would be unacceptable to address you in this manner. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, I don't want to be an adventurer here. I apologize for my words if they were rude. I'm truly not used to asking, but the nature of my request demands complete and selfless humility. Imagine me begging and kneeling. Believe me, I do feel that way. I can flirt with her. I'd kneel myself before a lady as charming as you. <laughs> Today's theft was the first, but it won't be the last. Simon has opened a score of irreplaceable victims. So more people are gonna die, well shit. <laughs> before they die, there will be a moment when you can intervene. Who are these people? It doesn't matter, what is destined to happen will happen. You can do whatever you want. Just don't be a coward and choose to run away from reality. 
These people are bound to me. <laughs> mm, that's, well, I'd like to flirt, but we don't have time for that. Let's see. So everyone has a role, and I might not. I might need them for later on. Okay. The bound. That's what they're called. When and how are they supposed to die? Bound to die. No need to shy away from it. That's also implied. But how and when will they die? I don't know. I'm not a mistress yet. The future is not that clear to me as I would prefer, but I can feel the present. Can you get to the point, please? Okay, so she's a bit of a clairvoyant. She's learning to see the future. Well, uh, I don't see anything wrong with it. Will you comply with my quest? Answer me before going back to uh, Eva. Yes, I will follow your request. I will do my best. Oh, wait. These people must live. Their fates are bound to hers. And I have to keep them alive. Jesus Christ, this face. I need to keep Eva? Eva creeps the fuck out of me, though. Now, the question is, how will they die? There is a plague in this... What the hell are you guys doing out here? I'm guessing this is past the tutorial now. The town is small and rather unexceptional, isn't it? But there are all kinds of people here. The simple folk and the more remarkable ones. The former will tell you more than they know. The latter know way more than they're ever going to let out. Keep a close eye on them. Your victory depends on it. And who are these remarkable people? Oh god, it's a lot. Oh no! Each day someone is gonna die, or they'll be at risk of dying. Each one that dies is important. Some of them may take away the key to victory. Ah, well, crap. Others will do the opposite. Don't waste your chance to condemn someone who may get in your way. Chopping you more hints would be cheating. No, it's not. Shutting up now. Allow me to conclude. Each bound you save will influence the finale of your adventure. You have been warned. Thank you for the warning, then. What about you, Mr... Hot Stuff? There is something in particular we feel the urge to warn you about. When you speak to the bound, please be careful with the words you say. Don't worry, you will be able to make out what kind of person is standing before you. An observant woman you are. Well, my character's a man, but... Use that skill when dealing with the bound. Some of them are indeed worth insulting, whereas others need to be treated with utmost respect. Well... If I ever need to talk with someone, it won't be for personal gain. Each conversation will bring you a small profit, depending on the outcome. How small are profits? Money. It's not a dialogue fee, don't get me wrong. <laughs> Never refuse to take small sums of money from the bound. Alright. I shall... I shall take all the money I can get because I'm a greedy little Asian.